This is a little demonstration of the uh, OLED display hooked up to a Raspberry Pi and what it's doing is showing the bandwidth uh, coming into and out of our house through our broadband router. It does that with a little graphical display. Um, the setup basically is the Raspberry Pi which you can see next to the television there. That's that Raspberry Pi, by the way, is the one that we use in our house for playing media. So we have um, a server downstairs. The Raspberry Pi connects to it through Ethernet, and we can watch movies and so on that are all stored down below the house. Um, it's doing a double job now because it has this little OLED display attached, and I've set it up to show bandwidth monitoring for the house, so it shows uh, any data coming in or out of the house. It's quite small. It's a one-inch display. Uh, you can buy these for about five dollars on eBay, and if we zoom in a bit to have a look at it, you can see that what it's showing is the uh, current internet um, input and output in kilobits per second or megabits per second, and on the left it'll also show a graph showing uh, those as operate. What I'll do, I've got my uh, mobile phone here. I'll do a couple of things and we'll see how much um, bandwidth it's using. At the moment all I've done is turn it on, but I'll, um, if I go to a website then you can see that by picking a website the phone connects to it and it starts to show a higher bandwidth through the internet connection. And for a while there it peaked at the full amount. Um, by the way we have a fairly slow internet connection here. We have about 3 megabits per second is the maximum input rate and I think it's about or 1 or so megabits per second is the uh, maximum upload rate. Let's go to somewhere else, let's try something on YouTube. And we'll just pick whatever comes up first. Let's load in the YouTube page and it looks like it's Taylor Swift. Give that a go. So you can see that by starting to play a YouTube video the bandwidth goes to its full rate as YouTube is fetching the information from the site. So I'll pause that now. Another thing we can do is we can try, um, you can see it's coming in about 3 megabits per second there, 2.9 at the moment. Another thing we can try is speed test which is a little app called Speed Test uh, from speedtest.net and if we begin the test <coughs> you'll see that it downloads initially it's just preparing and I'll put that on the table so you can see it you can see at the moment it's now downloading at its maximum rate and the left uh, input graph on the bar display is showing that um, currently it's saturating the router for its input rate. Now it's switching over to the upload speed and you can see again that as that goes on the uh, upload speed is approaching its peak. That's a little demonstration of it. Um, in the instructable I'll, um, or elsewhere I'll explain how it all works and how it all goes together.